Hey, hi 55 here, Nathan Triss. Uh, this article is fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. Fucking. Um, okay, so we freak out a lot about food mm. lately. Because feeding people is important, kids. We're eating oil. Um, yeah. Anywho, um, so we've, we've talked about like, there's all sorts of things like uh, aqua farming, which is pretty cool, like having a fish shit into a bowl and then basically regurgitates it around and stuff like that and you feed the fish with the plants. That's really cool. Um, but there's a company, a Dutch company, a Dutch agricultural company called Plant Lab, and they're going about this in a really like high tech, high tech, like massively futuristic, crazy scientific, technological endeavory thing. Yeah. Um, uh, they're growing, um, <laughs> they're growing plants. They're doing hydroponics, and they want to do it obviously in skyscrapers. You've seen all that notion before. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let's grow plants in skyscrapers so we can grow it in the city and not don't have to ship it in. Um, but <laughs> they've worked out that plants actually don't like light in the green spectrum. Really? And the other spectrum? Because it just, all it does is just dehydrates them and burns them. So they're actually growing plants with red and blue LEDs. Hells yeah! So, just, it, like, in red and blue rooms. And the video, there's a video <laughs> here that I, I think I'll, I don't know, I'll, I'll play it as we go along. I think I'll turn the volume off. Okay. Um, really cool. Um, and well, actually what they've been able to do is also grow it on 10% of the traditional water requirement. Holy so, shit! So red and red and blue are these. No, no sunlight. No sunlight at all. None. Holy shit! No, like no white light. Uh, white light. Why did I say green light? Wow. That's what I'm saying. Green light. Isn't it? Yeah. No white light. Ten percent of the water requirements, and they're doing it so technologically that they have monitors monitoring each individual plant. Yeah. They monitor um, 163,830 reports per second. <laughs> using, of, of different types of depending on what type of crop they're growing they can also tweak um, like the light source and they can tweak the entire environment and the water source like accurately yeah. to the second for every different plant for every different crop um, wow which is pretty that's just incredible amazing. yeah really amazing I mean if you can do this on a large scale in skyscrapers well, how big is it now? I, have they got it in the... It's no, just in the lab at I, I the think moment? they're just testing, yeah. Well, so, yeah. that's the thing with this. It's like... It's not gonna... This is not gonna happen until food becomes expensive enough. Until it's economically feasible, yeah. Because yeah. then it's like, why? What's the point? I'll just grow it in the field somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, but here's another really cool, interesting yeah. fact. Um, when grown outdoors, plant photosynthesis is about 9% efficient. Mm -hmm. um, they're growing their plants at an efficiency of 12 to 15%. Now... Hells? Yeah. yeah. They're aiming for eighteen percent. So they're growing plants more efficiently than they grow outdoors. <laughs> it's like it's, so the, Oh yeah. So they could actually be onto something here. Like obviously once once the economies of scale and kick in then yeah. that all makes sense. But they've already and like they're obviously controlling um so here's a few things they can control. Um so light colour, light intensity, light colour ratios, day length, infrared, uh, light temperature, root temperature. Plant temperature, <laughs> irrigation, nutrition, air velocity, air composition, humidity, and CO2. They, they, plug the, they plug plants into the machine. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they've done. They, they look, record everything about the plant and... Uh, and they're also, yeah, they're, awesome. they're, they're calling them plant IDs. So they've actually, they've actually derived, wow. and they're still working on it, like specific formulas for like, well, do you want a bigger crop? Or do you want a crop to look like this? Or do you yeah. want it to look like that? And they just know the exact variables to actually oh. do that. To say, if we put this plant in here and make it do this, it'll come out looking like this. I love that this has happened. So it's, it's, turned, it's turned agriculture into an algorithm. Into the algorithm. They plug the amazing. plants in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a recording everything that the plant does and then start, you know, adjusting the variables. See what happens. Have like, yeah. what was it? 160,000 per second, like, you know, yeah. bits of information coming in. They plugged them into the machine. They are, now the machines are growing it. Yeah. You say, you say I want this type of plant, and oh look, I'm trying to get this bit there. So you vary it a bit, and you let it automatically like, you know, adjust stuff to work out the best possible thing. This is fucking epic! Yeah. Yeah. And then combine that with, uh, yeah. I think one time we talked about robots growing lettuce. Yeah, yeah. Like a completely autonomous system. Like, yeah, just combine that, that up. <laughs> the plants finally joined. Oh, man. 
You do that with every center all around the world because they've recorded every bit there. It, you're creating a plant mind, really. <laughs> yeah, that's a plant mind. Cause the plant they're, mind. Because their plants will be telling you what they think. They're like, exactly. I need more water. Give me more water. That they'll try and, like, you know, increase the, the, the output of whatever. And, like, there might be a slight mutation of one plant, like, you know, all the way in India or something actually manages to do it. All the other plants around everywhere are like, oh shit, yeah, let's replicate exactly what happened there. That'll spread around to all the other crops. Yeah, here's the perfect algorithm. Exactly. Well, imagine, imagine if they actually have, if genetic testing becomes cheap enough, that they can just literally have the, do the complete genome of every single plant. That comes <laughs> yes, yes. And then that becomes another data point on which to say, with these variables, we got this genetic outcome. Yeah. And this genetic outcome produced these results. <laughs> and so they can actually... Wow. Do that in a global system, and then it's that idea before we had of like imagine if humans had like a device stepped into it, stuck into it, it's like you know, here's the best genetic code, upgrade. Wow. Do that with plants, like, yeah, you really can. This is the beginning of how scale. I didn't realize it was at that level. Like, I mean, it's, it's a pretty relatively like the idea is basic enough to just record absolutely everything, but to do it on that it's scale, unique. like, yeah, it's pretty unique. Yeah, it's a, just an organic thing, just put in. Like, I mean, once you can start replicating it no matter what, with no. You know, with no problems arising, yeah. that's big. Oh, I've got to follow this because this is a big step. Yeah, I just wish they'd work out again the the economies of scale because yeah, because it, it, well, open it must all. be really expensive. I, all of this data needs to be open and shared with everyone. I mean. And anyone else can start contributing to it because that'll be the fastest way for this to actually grow. Sure, they've done the prototype now, like, you know, they've got the, the warehouses and whatever growing all the plants, but actually, you know, share it with everyone else so then they can see comparing to their one or sell a kit that you can plug your plants in and stuff. Yeah, a kit would be awesome. It'd be great fun. Like a maker bot for plants. Yeah. Too. Damn. You could even do things like have with real world data create games where you grow plants. <laughs> yeah. Now that's the ultimate you, farm build tweak right the, there. Tweak the variables, yeah. Oh. Yeah, plug it in the farm bill, but make it more scientific and... Make it real, like, have imagine having a whole warehouse set up, and you're actually given all these plants to grow. It's like, okay, you, you pay money and you grow in the warehouse. With I don't know how much fun it would be. Yeah, with robots. <laughs> you can robots. watch the plant. You'd have to pay to do that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so really cool, so follow this. Yeah, this do is a big one. Yeah.